According to teach.com, learning styles are defined as the preferential way in which a student absorbs, processes, comprehends, and retains information. The three main types consist of visual, auditory, and kinesthetic ways of learning. While these learning styles are spoken about and even taught throughout different school systems, the legitimacy is questioned by scientists every day. Learning styles are not supported by science, by the research. What that means is that right now, there are no studies that indicate that when a student is learning in their preferred mode or in their learning style, that they do not perform any better than if they had learned in a different way. The only thing we know that really works for improving learning and improving information retention is active learning. Active learning, in short, is a way of teaching problem solving for real life scenarios in a classroom. It is a way for students to get useful, hands-on experience and learn the ability to apply what they learn in the classroom to their everyday lives and future careers. One thing that some professors have started doing is to do what's called a flipped classroom um, in which they really view the classroom as a place where discussions happen, where application happens. Come into class prepared to engage in this information in some way. Students tend to rely on learning styles to give them an idea of how to study, but in reality, students are able to learn in a variety of different ways. Learning is uncomfortable as it is. It's, it's known to be uncomfortable to not understand something or to be exposed to information for the first time. So on top of that, learning how to learn a different way can be really challenging. For The Northerner, this is Abby Behrens.